Hi, I'm doing a little bit of comparison shopping today and looking at the prices in the Queen Victoria building, which is really beautiful. It's probably the most embellished shopping arcade that I've been to here. So let's take you around and see all the sites. This statue of Queen Victoria originally sat outside the Irish Houses of Parliament, but around the time of the Australian Bicentennial in 1988, the Irish decided they didn't want it anymore and sent it all the way to Sydney to sit outside of her building. There's also a statue of her dog that barks when you put coins into the wishing well. The whole mall has this beautiful mosaic tile work throughout. You can see it here down to the ground floor, the first floor, the second floor. And where I'm standing and then up to this dome. Isn't that pretty? They have a wonderful use of stained glass in a lot of the public buildings I've seen here. Some Aussies have been trying to tell me that there are no Starbucks here but there are a few and right now there's one behind me and they have free Wi-Fi. The Queen Victoria Building, now affectionately known as the QVB, was de designed by George McRae and completed in 1898, replacing the original Sydney markets on the site. Built as a monument to the long reigning monarch, construction took place in dire times, as Sydney was in a severe recession. The elaborate Romanesque architecture was specially planned for the grand building so the government could employ many out-of-work craftsmen, stonemasons, plasterers, and stained window artists in a worthwhile project. Originally a concert hall, coffee shops, offices, showrooms, warehouses, and a wide variety of tradespeople such as tailors, mercers, hairdressers, and florists were accommodated. I managed to catch one of the two mechanical clocks at around 1 o'clock, so I saw the little boat here moving around. This is the Australian clock. The other is English. Uh, the Australian clock was designed and made by Chris Cook, weighs 4 tons and stands 10 meters tall. It includes 33 scenes from Australian history, seen from both Aboriginal and European perspectives. The Aboriginal hunter circles the exterior of the clock continuously, representing the never-ending passage of time. So I've been out window shopping for the last five hours. Uh, for those of you who know me, you know how much I love shopping. But um, I found some nice things, and I've explored a lot. Uh, the Queen Victoria building has little underground passageways leading to a lot of the other malls in city center. So I'm back here on my way home. Thanks. Bye.